You may believe that Texas and Louisiana are heavily populated states, and you're right. However, outside of the cities and beyond the boundaries of civilization still remain many lost historical gems waiting to be uncovered. Even here, today, we're going to explore some of them. We'll be discovering the top three abandoned movie sets hidden away in the wild, untamed landscapes of Texas and Louisiana. Number three, abandoned contrabando movie set, Redford, Texas. The contrabando movie set is an abandoned filming location found within the Big Bend Ranch State Park, about 9.5 miles west of Lajitas, Texas. The contrabando consists of an original adobe building called La Casita and several additions that were later built at the site during its use as a movie set. The set was constructed in 1985 for the Roy Clark film Uphill All the Way, and it's been used as a set for nine movies in total, including John Sayles' 1996 movie Lone Star, Dead Man's Walk, and Streets of Laredo, as well as the Brooks and Dunn My Maria music video. In September of 2008, heavy rains and flooding occurred in the area. The rain and the ensuing release of water from local flood control structures caused widespread flooding and resulted in damage to the contrabando movie set buildings. Fortunately, the original casita was not damaged. However, in 2015, most of the buildings were removed for safety reasons. However, the intrepid adventurer can still visit the casita and whatever else remains of the set, which is located just beside the Rio Grande at the Mexican border. Number 2. Alamo Village, Brackettville, Texas. The Alamo Movie Set, or Alamo Village as it's also known, is a now abandoned movie set located just north of Brackettville, Texas. It was the very first movie location ever built in the state of Texas. The Alamo Movie Set was originally constructed for the movie titled The Alamo, filmed in 1960 and directed by John Wayne. The set was built by James T. Happy Shahan of Brackettville, Texas, who in 1995 was named the father of the Texas movie industry by Governor George W. Bush. Shahan began building the set on his ranch in September of 1957 for John Wayne and his upcoming movie. Construction of the set took almost two years, but in August of 1959, filming for the movie finally began. The set includes a full-scale recreation of the Alamo compound as it would have appeared in 1836, and additionally includes a representation of the village of San Antonio de Bexar of the same time period. Shahan preserved the set after the end of the 1960 production, and over the years, more more than a dozen films about the Alamo have been shot there. In addition, over 100 other western movies as well as documentaries, music videos, and commercials have been shot using various parts of the set. In addition to the replica of the Alamo, the now abandoned village includes a cantina and restaurant, a trading post, a church, a jail, and a blacksmith shop. Number 1. Abandoned Salem TV Series Filming Set Grand Cane, Louisiana this movie set is so well built that it feels as if you're actually exploring a lost American colonial village. Welcome to the abandoned Salem movie set, located near the town of Grand Cane, Louisiana. Salem was a television series that was loosely inspired by the real Salem witch trials in the 17th century. Some of the actors and actresses that participated in the making of Salem include Janet Montgomery, Shane West, Tamsin Merchant, Xander Berkeley, Lucy Lawless, and Marilyn Manson. The series premiered on WGN America on April 20th, 2014, becoming the network's first original scripted series. As the network's first and highest rated series, it was renewed for a second season on May 15th of 2014. A third season was commissioned on July 11th of 2015 and premiered on November 2nd of 2016. On December 13th of 2016, it was announced that WGN had canceled the show after three seasons, with the final episode airing on January 25th of 2017. From that point, onward, the filming set quickly began falling into disrepair. However, many of its buildings are still largely intact. This attests to the great work done by the construction crew, who put the whole town together in roughly two months. The town includes over 20 buildings in total, with about 13 of them actually having a fully furnished interior to allow the movie crew to film scenes inside of them. Some of the buildings include a church, a cemetery, a pub, several shops, an orphanage, a brothel, a mansion, and even the gallows. There's also a commercial section of town, with several Several building facades built to represent shops and the town's slums, which supposedly housed the lower income population. During the filming, there was even a real ship that was built and erected in the docks area, but it has since been dismantled and removed from the lake. Like so many other hidden gems in the southern United States, this abandoned movie set is an obscure but intriguing piece of forgotten American history. Thank you so much for joining me on this adventure. Please keep in mind that this isn't necessarily a list of all the abandoned filming locations in Texas and Louisiana, just the top three in my opinion. In addition, keep in mind that other abandoned filming locations that existed in the past, such as the Year 
Pier 1 and the Magnificent 7 movie sets have unfortunately since been demolished, so those were not featured in this video. Do you think I missed something? Please feel free to share your thoughts in the comments. And don't forget to like the video and subscribe to my channel if you enjoyed the video and would like to explore along with me in my future adventures. I'll see you on the next one.